Hey guys, uh, just a quick little update here. Um, the video that I was originally going to post for the Divinity SMP had some audio issues with it because the stream crashed in the middle there. Um, so going back and rewatching the video and trying to edit it was a complete and utter mess. I originally had a recording that I was doing for the video, but because my PC crashed, I'm pretty sure due to overheating that day, uh, I lost the voice recording. So I was left with the stream recording, which the audio on the stream recording was less than quality. So I kind of, <laughs> I kind of just stopped altogether when it came to editing that video. So instead, uh, I'm going to be putting out a different video. It's going to be uh, Gob's perspective uh, when it came to selling the the home his first Gob hovel uh, to Jersodifer and uh, I guess his you know his perspective on what happened after meeting with the Idjit Kingdom so that's what we'll be seeing I know I promised we would be getting that gob video out. I'll, I'll try and get the second half, uh, the meeting with the Idiot Kingdom out, as well as the uh, the exploration that we undertook. I'll try and get those two parts out. the The audio is going to be less than quality, but uh, after this little message here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to insert the video of uh gob's thoughts i haven't decided at the the point of recording this but this this will probably be going up today so i'll know by i'll probably know in the next like two hours what i'll be doing yeah so it's just a little update i don't know if i'll be posting the entire thing or not well, I mean, I know I won't be posting the entire stream. I, I tried editing it down as much as possible. I took like 40, 50 minutes out of it, and I was just like, I don't like the quality of the audio in this. I wish I would have gotten that recording. So I've actually edited Gob's voice a little bit, so that way the voice, when it's just in stream mode, will come out a lot clearer, because I was using two separate tracks for this. Uh, there was a very clear track that I was using for recording, it was just much easier to do and it used less bandwidth so it wouldn't slow down my stream any and then there was the actual stream voice um but obviously pc shut down on me and <laughs> i can't find that file anymore because it just doesn't exist <laughs> yeah if I uh, put Gob in, I'll let him take over from here, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next stream. Thank you very much. Peace out, guys. Gob's Lock. Day one. I decided to keep a log of all of my travels and tales in this great big world. Oh. Let's see. I met with a very strange and curious individual looking to buy some property nearby. Obviously, I did the only thing a true gob would do, and I sold it to him immediately for 50 gold ingots. Yes, yes. Except the meeting did not go so well for gob. He harassed poor little Gob. <laughs> tried to murder me. <laughs> tried to break my legs. <laughs> poor Gob. <laughs> he assaulted me. Backed me into a corner in poor Gobby Cave. <laughs> Gobby had such a traumatic experience. But that wasn't all. It seemed like he came out of nowhere and left out of nowhere just equally as much. 
poor little gob all by himself. He didn't stand a chance against such strength. Such magic. But that wasn't all. It was but a few days later. Gob was sitting in Gobby Treasure Vault. And him and the rest of his compatriots all came out of nowhere and assaulted the Gobby Treasure Vault without warning. They stormed Gobby Treasure Vault, placed a million torches everywhere, blinding poor Gob eyes, making me unable to see, unable to hear with how bright it was. They assault Gob, trap him in small hole in the ground. Poor Gob, the treasure vault vandalized by these, by these miscreants. And they force Gob to eat disgusting fish against his will. Charged to the bone. Not an ounce of protein left in it. No flavor at all. <laughs> poor Gob. Poor, poor Gob. And then... Gob make friends, yes, amongst the... Idjit Kingdom, I believe they're called. Yes. They give Gob riches, yes. And so... Gob has made friends. Gob is still terrified of them. <laughs> Come in and assault Gob in his own home. In his own Gobby treasure vault. No, 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 please. No more. But Gob took them down into the caves, you see. Down into the darkest parts of the caves. Yes, for they were strong, stronger than Gob, yes. <laughs> and so I took them to fight the guardian beast below. But little did they know, the guardian beast was not one, but three. For you see, Gob did also not know this. I had only seen once in the past. And so... I was scared and ran away when I heard there were three. But alas, poor little Gob got trapped in a hole and could not escape. No, no, no. And so, Gob's once enemy, once nemesis even, Jersertifer, helped Gob escape from the hole in the ground. And now, Gob is once again friends with the Egypt Kingdom, seeing them not as the menace that they once were, but instead seeing them as a close, maybe one might even say ally. But of course Gob thinks that that's going a little too far. Acquaintance, yes. They're acquaintances of gobs. Yes, yes, yes. After the incident in the caves, Gob closed them up. Never to enter them ever again. But Gob had heard of riches. Riches beyond imagination. In the, uh, direction of, I believe, northeast. Or east? I don't know. Gob headed in this direction as soon as he heard. And I tell you what, I found riches. In the form of... In the form of... Helmets made of pure gold. The shiniest of helmets Gob had ever seen. Yes, yes, yes. And some other riches as well. These were riches that Gob had only dreamed of in his wildest dreams. Two crowns for the Goblin King, yes! Now I am the king of all Gobs, yes! But there is only me, just Gob, so he is the king of no one. Instead, he shall hoard all of his riches 
Yes, in such a goblin fashion. He is the gobby king of no one. But that's okay, as long as I have my shinies to keep me company, who needs other gobs? They'll only try to grab at my gobby riches anyways. But this is a retelling of the gobby events that happened in the past... Uh... I don't know. How long has it been? Never learned how to tell time. Oh, well. Um... Well, this is Gob signing off on entry number one of Gobby, Gobby Day. Yes, we shall name this day Gob's Day.